Good evening. This is DJ Undercover, aka Vinny Mac, Vinny Versace, for Vin TV, Magna Carta Radio, on your FM dial. <laughs> not quite. It's not FM dial just yet. And this is one of my promotional tools for the album. The Secret City of London. A beautiful hip-hop album full of great street music, some club bangers, lots of esoteric knowledge, and a lot of the research that I've been doing for the last few years I've piled into this album. So it's not just an album of just frivolous music, it's actually an album with entertainment as well as information that you can add to what you already know some serious deep information and that's why the album is called skull secret city of london all right so that's enough about the album um i was going to do this about a week ago but the reason why i didn't was out of the blue we've had this tragedy a uh, huge tragedy which has been the death of nipsey hustle R.I.P. Rest in power, rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. I did see his mother on Instagram. Her take was actually very, very positive. So all power to her, all power to his family. And he did look just like his mum, by the way. You know, he looked just like his mum. All power to that family. You know, my heart goes out to all of you guys and condolences. I don't know what it is about that fella, man, but I've watched his interviews. I see him on The Breakfast Club and those smaller um, shows, and he pretty much had the same message, which was, you know, he's, he's a very, very positive guy. It's always about buying property and um, not worrying about jewellery and foolishness like that, and cars and fancy chicks. He was, he was about his business. It was about building. And... Um, but in his interviews, you could see that and you could, and you, you could feel his energy. He was another Tupac-like character. When he spoke, he actually sounded like Snoop Dogg. And when you looked at him, he looked a bit like Snoop Dogg. And he also looked a bit like Haile Selassie. It was like a cross between Snoop Dogg and Haile Selassie, you know? And the funny thing is, even his name, his name, his, his original name actually means, his government name, means sent from God. This is the reason why I've got the blue and the red, because his community, which is um, Crenshaw, Slauson, LA, is riddled with gangs, and the gangs don't get on, always fighting with one another, there's always bloodshed, 24-7, it just happens all the time, it's out of hand, and it has been that way a long time. I was out in LA in 91, and I see the gangbangers, the Bloods and the Crips doing their, you know, doing what they do. And it's like, but you all look the same. And you're all fighting for land that you don't actually own. You just, you're like, you're managing the land and making your money doing your moves. But you don't own anything. And it's very easy for the government and the feds to just come in and just scoop you up and do whatever. It's like, why are you killing each other when you all look the same? You just got different outfits on, but you look the same. You talk the same, you walk the same, you know? How I feel about it and what I'm going to say on it is this. You guys had your own Jesus. It might sound crazy, but you guys had your own Jesus. That guy, he passed away or passed on, transitioned at 33, same as Jesus. He was someone who was helping his community wasn't bourgeois, he may had a few million in the bank. He came back, he was buying land, buying properties, opening up restaurants, opening up stores, and employing the people around him, the people in the area. You know, he was employing them to work in his establishments. He was bringing money back to the hood and lifting up the hood, you know? And even his name, his actual birth name, his birth name actually means sent by God. 
That's what his original government birth name actually means, because he comes from Ethiopia. You know? I, I look at it like that is your Jesus, and he wanted to bring everybody together. He wanted to the gangs, the, the bloods, the crips to come together to stop the, the madness and the, and the bloodshed and be positive and work together, if anything. And he was even trying to link with the police so there's some sort of peace between the police and the people, the police and the gangs, having some sort of understanding and reasoning. And that's what he was trying to do. As I say, I saw his interviews and he was just a really, really positive guy. And for him to pass in such a way was absolutely ridiculous. Some people say that this Eric Holder has got the same name as the Attorney General. This Eric Holder may well have been an MK Ultra super soldier sent in to do that job. Because the powers that be don't want to see people like Nipsey Hussle rising up from the gutter, just rising up the way he was rising and bringing people together, the way he brought people together. You know, some people say he was a snitch. Eric Holder was a snitch. The alleged shooter, Eric Holder was a snitch. And, um, and he's a government op. I mean, if you are a snitch, definitely working with the government and the feds, you know. And some people just say, it's just one of those jealous, envious N-I-double-G-E-Rs that you get in the hood. You know, came from the same starting blocks as Nipsey. And um, he didn't make anything of his life. And Nipsey went from zero to 100. You know, in his face, I guess. So for some people are just saying it's just some, some nigger shit that happens in the hood all day, every day. Envious, jealous, crabs in a bucket type nigger shit. I wasn't there, so I don't know, you know? When I did see the clip, it did look like some low down nigger shit to me, but you don't know, you don't know, you know? It could have been, it could be a lot deeper than what it is. Some people say he's working on the Dr. Sebi documentary. You know, I've, I've looked into Dr. CB years ago and what I heard him saying made a lot of sense to me. So, you know, with regards to fasting and eating healthy and alkaline foods and electric foods, I looked into all of that years ago and it made sense to me and that's how I live and I eat. I do break the rules a little bit and have the odd burger here or there or fish and chips or whatever, but on a whole, you know, I keep it all healthy and sensible, you know, make a lot of sense. But anyway, that's that. I just wanted to say R.I.P. to Nipsey. One love and, uh, you know, rest in power.